The Bradley Boulder Inn just said goodbye to its last guest for a little while. They're not, they're not going out of business or anything. This is a planned break for staff because they've spent so much of October hosting neighbors who are waiting to hear if they still had a home standing. Our photojournalist Mike Grady visited that safe haven for fire evacuees. This downtown Boulder area, you know, we're a tight community. My name is Heather Colleton and I own the Bradley Boulder Inn. All I did was get the word out that we would take in evacuees for free. I called Celia and Randy and I said, look out, the phone's going to ring. And then our phones blew up and we got people from every fire. We just took them in and we took care of them and gave them a warm place to stay. We took their pets and, um, you know, we don't even take pets here at the Bradley, but we took their pets. He brought in his bulldog that was three years old and was literally like as wide as he was long. He was just a sweetheart and he became kind of our, our mascot for the whole time. So that was Chunky the bulldog. People were just in probably the worst. I, I do, I'm going to start crying if I have to do this. This is too sad. People were just in the worst times of their lives and I was like I'm not going to charge them $270 for a hotel room when they're you know they don't have a home anymore. About seven years. Today's the last day of our folks from Estes Park who are going to get to go home. We just have always done that for disasters because disasters suck man. You always have a home at the Bradley. That's right. Thank you. We'll be back. Okay.